This is KYG Angel Service. Today I'm going to tell you a story about this famous mansion. It was uh, built uh, by a rich man, Chua Cheng Bok. This is his story, you know. He was a uh, yeah, poor guy way back uh, many, many years ago. But he fell in love with one little uh, beautiful lady who was just uh, staying uh, somewhere down the road, you know. So he was trying to quote her. But uh, he was unsuccessful because he was poor. The father looked down on him and then and, uh, and refused the daughter to 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 yeah to make to be friends with him. He was very disheartened because he was poor. So he left uh, town, went to sea, that is uh, his sails. He hoisted his sail and he went overseas. So to seek his fame and fortune, you know, perhaps who knows. So by dint of hard work and uh, some luck, you know, a little bit of luck, he swelled it out, he made up his fortune. He came back a very rich man, very rich man, even richer than his uh, the beautiful girl's uh, parents who stayed next door to him. So he built a mansion. This is the mansion I'm talking about, George Box Mansion in Jalan Ampang. It was built by the European architects at the time. So he had the uh, top of the building a balcony so he would sit every evening and look down at the other rich guy you know probably he was uh, serenading to the daughter or showing her father how rich he was anyway that is a story and then uh, when he came back from the italy and uh, european uh, countries from europe and he brought along a lot of things you know statues you know many things ornaments from italy from france from england to decorate the house you know mentioned to impress the girl and her father he, he furnished it with you know european paintings you no know, statues stained glass alongside chinese model of pearl furniture and pranakam files etc etc <laughs> The design was here by it was designed by Swan and McLaren architects, okay. And he also decreed that none of the the artifacts uh, to his posterity to his uh, children that none of the artifacts should be in uh, he installed be removed. His descendants cannot remove them. But as the years went by, many of his children shifted out to modern homes, and. Uh, the X fell when uh, when the place was targeted for progress. In place of it uh, was uh, the KLCC. So we had to give way. So somehow, somehow the it was demolished, you know, to give way to progress. I don't know what happened to the to the to, to the artifacts. But that is the end of the story. A very romantic story. A beautiful building. You know, this is even in the Gazette. It was Gazette as a historical site, and yet it was demolished. You know, I don't know, there many other buildings will follow suit, you know. But I wrote this article in 2008. True enough, you know, Pudu Jail was uh, the next to go in 2010. What next? I don't know. Maybe Coliseum, Pudu Jail, even St. John's Institution, you know, and other colonial buildings will also be, you know, be, be, we'll get the X, will also be, the, be, be demolished for progress in the name of progress. It's a pity, you know, things like that, you know, happened before our eyes, but uh, well, it's part of life. You know, we can't win them all. So whatever we have left, you know, it is, it is still... It's good to remember, you know, to remember them. So what we I have left here is just a drawing and an article, you know. So for us to remember them by and then... Uh, and then for people who will be interested to know what happened, you know.
you may check it check this out in my I, I've written a lot about this in my blog Reminiscence Charlotte Leganson and also yeah you can get it on Google as well okay I've said my piece thank you for watching away now bye bye